Good morning, YouTube. Another day is a Tuesday. Um, rough day today. Rough morning. It's on the 10:30. Um, 10:30. I want to say a rough morning. It ain't something that I haven't done before. Though know, when you wake up, when guys get in late, and you have a few mores down, and we didn't get them service in time. My mechanic guy ran off yesterday. He didn't come back. So when I came in, I had to um, go ahead and do what I had to do. Get my hands dirty. See that? Get my hands dirty. So I'm in the process now for to go pick up some trying. I got two more that basically been. Let me tell you something. And this, I had to learn through trial and error. Sometimes when you purchase a lawnmower, don't purchase it for your own personal liking. I bought two Dixie Chopper Classics a few years ago. And those mowers are some great mowers, but if you don't drive them personally, or you don't have a real professional, someone that operates that machine very careful, you will spend a lot of money replacing forks. And I'm gonna advise anybody, if you ever buy a Dixie Chopper Classic, do not let no anybody ride it because um, if they hit a curve, them forks on those machines are are, are trash, man. And I and I like the Dixie Choppers. They they good machines, but the fork system and the deck hanging system on the Dixie Chopper Classics are garbage. Straight up garbage. Garbage, man. The way that deck is made, the what it's garbage. The Black Hawk has a better deck. If you if you pertain to Dixie Chopper lawnmowers, the Black Hawk has a better deck, a better design than the Classic. The Classic is more designed for cutting, let's say, big fields, not in around facilities and buildings. I would prefer to use a Dixie Chopper Classic in big fields. It's not designed for commercial use around buildings. I had to learn it the hard way. Because you have individuals ride the moors, they know how to operate them, but they don't know how to be careful. They don't know how to avoid obstacles, hazards. And the fork system and the deck hanging system is garbage. Pretty garbage, man. For that instance, it's, it's garbage. Now, if I was operating it myself, or you had a crew and they would only cut in big fields or anywhere where there's no curves and things like that, it's not designed for that, man. I, I'd have had too many problems dealing with those machines. So it's for anybody that looking to buy a new mower or just getting into the business and you come across names like Xmark and Toro, um, Hustler. I, I, I like the Hustlers. I like the Toros and the Xmark deck system is way better than a Dixie Chopper. And I'm just being honest. Now the Dixie Chopper Blackhawk, that's another, that's another, another that I like that one. I have one of those. The deck system is solid, is is durable. The fork system is not for some reason. I'm going to buy some now. For the charge me almost two hundred dollars for two forks. So that'd be four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for a pair. I done had them welded on. I done had them repaired. And I'm just tired of it, man. So I'm putting this information out there for anybody that um, is going to purchase a new mower and you don't have a real, real, true experienced individual who know how to operate it. Do not buy a Dixie Chopper Classic. If you was cutting anything like a big field, like I said once again, you're fine. If you're cutting around buildings that have sidewalks, curbs, um, a lot of up and down because you got islands and stuff you got to get up and down. No, do not buy that machine for that. It's going to tear up on you. Unless you operate it yourself. And that way, if you tear it up, you'll know what to tell somebody else. You know? So, there's just some good information I'm putting out there so y'all to know. Get money to stay true.